debunking misconceptions, understanding the misuse of third world classification. Recently, a European study made headlines by allegedly classifying the United States as a third world country. The term third world is highly outdated and carries historical connotations that may not accurately reflect a nation's current socioeconomic status. In this article, we aim to clarify the misconception and shed light on the inaccuracy of using such a classification. Understanding the term third world. The term third world originated during the Cold War era, when countries were categorized based on their alignment during the ideological conflict between the United States and the Soviet Union. The first world referred to countries allied with the US, the second world represented Soviet-aligned countries, and the third world consisted of countries that were non-aligned or neutral. However, the world has evolved significantly since then, and the use of these terms is no longer valid or appropriate. Today, the preferred terminology is developed, developing, and underdeveloped nations, or high-income, middle-income, and low-income countries, as defined by the World Bank. The United States and the reality of its economic status. Contrary to the recent study's claim, the United States is widely recognized as one of the world's leading developed nations. As the world's largest economy with a highly developed infrastructure, advanced technologies, and a high standard of living, the U.S. does not fall under any category of a third world country. The gross domestic product, GDP, of the U.S. ranks among the highest globally, and it has diverse and strong industrial and service sectors. Additionally, the U.S. remains a global hub for innovation, research, and development, attracting talents and investments from around the world. The study's limitations. It is essential to scrutinize the methodology and credibility of any study claiming to reclassify the United States, or any other country as third world. Misleading headlines can cause unnecessary confusion and distort public perception. Furthermore, the term third world itself perpetuates stereotypes and oversimplifies complex economic and social realities. It fails to acknowledge the progress and growth many countries, including the United States, have achieved over the decades. Conclusion It is crucial to use accurate and up-to-date terminology when discussing global economic and social issues. The term third world is an outdated and misleading classification that should be avoided in modern discourse. The United States remains a leading developed nation with a robust economy and a high standard of living for its citizens. In light of this, it is essential to critically evaluate the sources of information and avoid sensationalist headlines that misrepresent facts. As we seek to understand the world and its complexities, Using precise and respectful language is key to fostering a more informed and equitable global conversation.